Let's fill the music. No, the title isn't entirely clickbait. What I'll be saying is not a long-running joke or even sarcasm. What I'll be saying is what I truly think, believe, and, and can at least enjoy from the series of My Hero Academia. With that said, I can honestly say that Mineta, yes Mineta, is one of my favorite characters from My Hero Academia. And if I were to give my top 10 favorite characters with no real rank, so no one really being above the other, and just the first thing I think of that I enjoy seeing on screen or get panel time within the manga, I can at least say that when it comes to Class A only, Mineta would definitely be on that list. And I could probably even take it a step further and count all of the characters shown so far, and he would still have a chance of being on that top 10 list. And here are the other nine of that top 10 if you're curious. Now, yeah, I know everyone absolutely hates this guy, and for reasons I can't understand. They don't like his actions, he can be useless, he's annoying, he's a perv, so on and so on. But in a weird way, that's why I like him. He's really the absolute loser of the show, more or less. The butt of the joke character, the comic relief to a point. The character that is just purposely written to be that way. And I actually enjoy that about Mineta. We all know he's not gonna get the girl, at least the way that he acts in the haze. But that's why I like him. He's just a dumb, loud, perverted kid. And that's why I like him. And I think, funny enough, the Funimation dub did this little video on him. And I think they describe him quite well. You may have also noticed he pays special attention to the area around the girls' locker room. Which brings me to point B. Keep your hands and eyes to yourself, short stuff. This is a school of heroes, so please check your hormones at the door. And no, it's not that like, oh, I, I like perverted characters within anime or shonen. So, no, I don't, I can say that. And second, I am a huge One Piece fan. And I can say that Sanji isn't exactly within my top three favorite Straw Hats, the main characters of the show. He's cool, and he does some pretty beast stuff within the show, I cannot deny that. But people who have seen One Piece and, you know, who know what they're talking about, can at least tell you Sanji in the New World, the second half of One Piece, they can tell you that Sanji hasn't been exactly been pulling his weight as he used to. He's not as great as he used to be. And when his own gag of him getting a nosebleed literally almost kills him within the show, that's a problem and I don't like that. I'm pretty sure no one liked that. So no, it's not that I like perverted characters within anime or any shows like that. Mina is just an exception because he's stupid, really. One other reason why I do like him is because his goal is something that I can understand. Because if there's one thing I've learned from this series, it's that the main theme of the show goes down to one question, more or less. And that question is, what does a hero mean to you? For Midoriya, it's to be as great as All Might and what he believes in, and it's pretty much the reason why All Might even chose him specifically. He said that, you know, you did something a little bit stupid, a little bit reckless. You got in people's business when you really shouldn't. But you know what? Because of that, you had no hesitation of saving Bakugo that one time. And you know what? I really do think that I should be able to train you because of this. Bakugo, it's to be the strongest and best number one hero that there is. Ida, it was more or less family business, though he does learn that's not what it's all about with this fight with Stain, so he slowly starts doing selfless acts just like Midoriya does from time to time. Uraraka is a fun one to me because it's just as simple as, I need money to support my family. For Todoroki, it's whether or not he just follows in his dad's footsteps or carves his own path to be successful. For Mineta, it's just to be popular with girls. That's it, like there's nothing really more to it that I can really put it that way. It's not this long, harsh, sad, tragic backstory that happened to him. It's just as something fun and easy as girls, which I can honestly respect. Sometimes the simple stuff can be great to watch or read. Oh, so he's pretty clever. I think that kid pulled one over on all of us. At the end of the day, Wanting to be popular with girls is a concrete goal for him. <coughs> Thanks to me, we'll live to see boobs another day! And that's why I like Mineta. He's just a little goofball that gets screwed over from like almost 
every time he does something in every turn like he gets screwed over by a, a five-year-old more or less like that's gotta hurt man it really does yet he still keeps going and that's why i like him because he's just such a loser that I root for him in a weird way, that he's like the absolute underdog that I actually say that, you know, I want him to do great. Now also keep in mind, I'm not saying that he's the best character within the series, don't worry, I don't, <laughs> I don't think he is, though I do think that a good 90% of the hate he gets kind of just comes off as a joke, a meme, or an exaggeration, and he doesn't deserve that much hate, but hey, whatever, if you still and always think that he's a bad and annoying character, go right ahead. I won't stop you. You think you're so cool, but I've outsmarted you! How pathetic, Todoroki! Beat this! My special attack! But... That's all I have to say, that's why I like Minati, he's a really funny character to me, I think it's just funny how he just starts screaming all over the place when, you know, things just don't go his way or anything like that. A little bit of a side note, I watched the dub, I think it's really fun that the voice actress for Chopper from One Piece, this cute little lovable reindeer, voices this annoying, stupid, perverted character, I just love the transition from it. So yeah, that's a slight another reason, but hey, preferences are preferences. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have any questions, comments, or concerns, or any other discussion topics like that. If you want me to talk about My Hero Academia more, let me know in the comments. You know what to do with that type of stuff. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check out all the links I've got, the one comment or description, all that type of stuff. Uh, and have a great day, have a great night, and everything else you know what to do. Bye.